It is time to declutter your closet. Hey, my name is Cherie and welcome to my fashion and style channel. Today I'm going to show you how I easily declutter my closet and get ready for the upcoming season. In the past, I've definitely been an impulse shopper. I would just buy things because I liked it and I wasn't really paying attention to what I already had in my wardrobe. Nowadays, I shop with intentions, paying attention to what I already have in my closet and the best way to do that is by simply decluttering your closet every three to four months or so. One way I keep track of what I have in my wardrobe is by color coordinating my clothes. I like to order the colors in a rainbow fashion. I start off with neutrals because I have a lot of blacks and whites and creams and beiges but then I also have a little bit of color as well. Color coordinating my clothes has really helped me with figuring out and maintaining what I have in my wardrobe. So if I'm in a store and I'm shopping and I see like this black shirt in my head, I kind of already know that I own a similar black shirt. And this is only because I've been consistently going through my clothes and trying to get rid of the things that I don't need, don't wear, and I don't have any use for. What you see behind me is a huge milestone over the past, I want to say six to ten months, I've been literally getting rid of stuff. There was a time where I had like a massive amount of clothes. For me, it was too much. I like to declutter my clothes while we're transitioning in between seasons. This way I can kind of see what I have, think about what I don't have, think about the pieces that I would like to add to my existing wardrobe, but also just keeping in mind that I don't want to overbuy. I want only the things that I love in my wardrobe. Let's get started. I have my mirror here. We're gonna start with the black clothes. <laughs> So when I'm decluttering my closet, I know it's going to be a little bit of a process. So I always make sure that I eat something beforehand, make sure I have a nice full stomach. And I also put on fitted clothing. So I have today on a tank top and some leggings. That way when I need to try something on really quickly, I could just throw it right over this, what I have on. So I'm starting with the black clothes and I don't take everything out, but for the purpose of this video I may just you know take some items out try them on and show you but I kind of already have a feel for what I want to keep what I think I should be getting rid of what I need to try on to see if I want to get rid of it so over here a lot of the black clothes I'm keeping them because I like my black clothes <laughs> <laughs> there was a time when I used to wear a lot of blazers. I could just take these items out really quickly. I hang them up on my dresser. And this first one is from Express. I have not worn this blazer in two years. So my rule is if I haven't worn the item in two years, it is about time for it to go. Now it does fit. Are the arms a little short? What do you think? Even though I haven't worn the blazer in two years, I still have to think about its purpose. Now this blazer in the past, I have worn it to work, I have worn it on dates, I have worn it to parties, just anywhere. It's such a versatile item, so I don't necessarily want to just go run and throw it out, right? Because I will eventually find myself in a store buying a brand new black blazer. And why would I do that when I already had one in my closet? And with an item like this, I would definitely keep it because a blazer is definitely a classic. It's a staple and you're always going to wear it. Another question I ask myself is do I need as many? So I do have one, two, three, four, five different types of blazers. To me, this is a good amount. Why? Because they're all very different. This one is a little bit more form-fitting and a little bit more professional. This blazer is a little bit more oversized. I feel like I need an oversized blazer. I also need a fitted blazer. This blazer here is leather, so it's very different from the other two. This blazer is actually cropped, very different from the other three. And this is a vest, 
so it doesn't have sleeves so all of these black blazers in my opinion they serve a purpose and they're staying in my wardrobe <laughs> I wish I had the same delusion that I do when I was two and didn't think that So these two items I will be giving away and I'm going to explain to you why. This is a midi skirt. It has these heart detailing all over it. Now I did wear the skirt but I did not really like the way it fit on me. I always felt like mini skirts made my legs look very short and stumpy. Nowadays I'm gravitating toward a more elongated maxi skirt. So this skirt is something that I will be getting rid of. <laughs> I also have this black dress it is a midi black dress right so super long i can actually try it on so you see it and this is the good part about wearing fitted clothing you can just throw your clothes right over it so here is the dress on it fits well but i do not like the the knit material that it's made out of i got this dress from i believe fashion nova i don't know something about this material it almost makes me itch and i don't like that i actually hate that so that's why i'm getting rid of this item but it fits nicely it's just itchy i don't like i don't like to scratch in my clothes okay we're moving through the block i could ruin anything at all i could never fall i wish I, I went through a little bit of a phase wearing lingerie dresses as streetwear so i have two of them right now and this one is super cheap and flimsy so i'm going to give it away i think i got it for almost nothing on amazon i'll pop a picture of me wearing this dress so you can see it it serves its purpose and i actually have a better version of this dress already so i'm going to get rid of that one that same conviction convinced i never need to fix him yeah that i really knew i have another dress here this is a midi dress and i've had this dress for a very very long time i think over five years and i've worn it about twice the last time i wore it was maybe two years ago to a wedding and it's really pretty very form-fitting it has like this mesh detailing at the top some meshing in the the midsection and then cutouts on the side so it was very very sexy i'm not wearing it again i'm just not and i need to be honest with myself and i'm also not a fan of that midi length anymore so it gotta go business where did she go yeah she thought she could do anything that she could get now this is a pinstripe set that i got from forever 21 when i started doing my youtube videos again i actually used this set to create an outfit i will link that video in the cards if you would like to check it out this is supposed to be a set but if you can see they're very different like they're different in color the actual pinstripes are different and the the set just never really made sense also the vest in my opinion it just did not fit me well i think that i was busting out of the seams <laughs> so i probably should have sized up but my issue when i size up like if i was to get a size medium then the chest area would be too big then i would probably have to call my mom so she can alter it and i really didn't want to go through all that i just want clothes that fit on the other hand the pants fit really well so i'm going to keep the pants next on the chopping block is one of my favorite cropped nike sweaters when you have these colors like black and white you just gotta know that eventually time is up and that's where this sweater is it is very very much so washed out even though i really love this sweater i absolutely love the back like the back had this zipper but it's time i haven't worn it in a while i'm getting rid of it this white sweater top 
I thought it was super cute. I got it from Forever 21. I really love the fact that the upper portion was mesh and see-through, but my goodness, it's so uncomfortable. It doesn't feel good on. And if an item doesn't feel good on your skin, you're not gonna feel your best in it. And that's why nowadays, I just rather buy the things that I truly love. Like, I like the way it looks. I like the way it feels on my body. I feel like it will complement other things in my wardrobe. If it cannot do any of those three things, then there's no need for me to have it. Not everything that looks good is good for you. And this sweater is one of those things. It has to go. Remember how I used to do it that I was a member of Confidence Club because that don't last forever. Now this dress I would like to give it away, but I haven't worn it yet. I bought it last year. I don't want to give it away. So, you know, sometimes I do have weak moments where I'm like, I haven't worn that. I can actually see myself wearing it. So I don't necessarily want to throw it away right now. Or should I? Like, this is one of my chunky knit sweater dresses that I love so much. It's been sitting in my closet. I did wear, I wore it to my mom's retirement party. And it looked really cute. I wore the, I wore it with these um, suede over the knee boots. And they were so cute on. And I would usually wear this sweater dress to work. But the temperature in my building is, it's not consistent at all. Like some days it's burning hot where I could barely even work. Other days it's super cold where I got my scarf wrapped around my neck. I don't know. I So I'm going to keep it for now and we'll revisit the knit sweater dress in the next declutter episode. <laughs> H&M is definitely the spot for some sweatsuits if you need something really quickly, but they don't last very long. So this is a beige hoodie, but it's starting to get those balls all over it. The color isn't as vibrant as it used to be, so it, it's going either in the garbage or maybe to the Goodwill. I wish I saw what she saw. I wish I knew what she now these pants are from JLux label. They fit well, but they're too long. So I have to remember that these pants need some alterations, but they actually fit great. And if they were altered, I would wear them. Oh, look, this is my gray cashmere sweater. I actually did a video on styling cashmere sweaters, so you can check that out if you're interested. I love this sweater. You think it'll transition nicely for the spring? I guess we'll see. Now here's a sweater that I don't want. I got it from Fashion Nova. You know, Fashion Nova, they get you, right? They'll be like 60% off and up to 80% off. And then you go on there, you buy all the cute little items, and then you get those items and they are itchy and it just doesn't feel good on the skin. I'm really big about comfort and feeling good in my clothing. I actually wore this as well in a video that I did. I did a best and worst Copenhagen Fashion Week video and I wore <laughs> this top. And let me tell you, it was so uncomfortable and it really wasn't flattering on me either. So I'm getting rid of it. Oh, look at this sweater. It's a Nike hoodie, but it's actually too tight for me. It has always been too tight for me, and I never liked the way I felt when I wore it. <laughs> so why is it still in my closet? Get rid of it, okay? If you haven't noticed anything about me, know this. I am going to get rid of some stuff. You know, I love how she just stoned her, but sadly I've grown it. Here is another great looking item that I picked up from Forever 21. It has these cargo pocket type sleeves, zip front hoodie, but it does not feel good on. Um, I actually washed it hoping to soften up the fabric and that didn't work either. I'm going to get rid of it. It's not that it's bad, it's not that it's ugly, but it doesn't feel good. And I think that that is a huge thing for me right now in my life. Like, if it doesn't feel right on me, then I need to return it if it's new or I need to give it away if it's old. So we've moved on to more of the color pieces. I have these red pants here. These are from Express. They fit me a little bit more on the crop side. So some of my ankles show 
I don't like these. I've also had them in um, pink and I didn't like those either. So I'm going to get rid of the red ones. I have another pair of red pants from Express and I also have a leather sleeveless dress that I'm going to keep on this hanger. So boom. This dress is actually bleeding burgundy, okay? It rubs off on things, so I'm getting rid of it. I got it from Fashion Nova. As I'm recording this video, I'm realizing that it's very easy for me to get rid of things. I can just say, all right, I'm not wearing this anymore, and I can be done with the item. But I do understand that sometimes people may have an emotional attachment to their clothing. So that's something that you as an individual would have to monitor. Maybe take a little bit more time out on certain pieces. Separate your closet, things that you absolutely love versus things that you are like, okay, you feel indifferent about those items. And then just kind of take it piece by piece. Maybe not go all in in one day ask yourself am I going to wear these items do they feel good on my body how would I style these items am I am I going to style it in more than one way can I wear this item three to five ways those are things that you could start asking yourself about items that are in your closet I'm still that girl but I don't know how to show it like she knew like she knew she knew she knew wasn't really ready, no, I had to grow Up but it's so heavy and I'm feeling low I'm learning all that was wrong for me And I wish somebody would have issued a one And I'm actually looking at this sweater I put it back because I felt like, oh, I could wear it as a house sweater I'm not wearing it as a house sweater I have a bunch of crew neck sweaters that I wear in the house and they have been serving their purpose. So I'm getting rid of this. about whether or not I keep this. I got it during a Zara sale. It was like $9. But now that I have it, I'm just like, why? Why? You know, why do I have this? Where am I wearing this vest to? Could it be like a weekend type of thing where I just throw on some sweats and I have this vest to put on top of it. Yeah, maybe. I really want to give it away, but it's made well, and I got it on sale. You see, sometimes I make excuses too, and this is how certain items just stay in my wardrobe. <laughs> I do want to take a trip to H&M to get me some new hoodies, because these hoodies that I have, like the beige one I showed you earlier, it is old it's washed out it has those little fabric balls on them and i know there's also a device that i could buy that kind of gets rid of those those balls those lint balls that come up on clothing i have to look into that because maybe that would help and if nothing everybody's wrong used to become now i can't remember how i one thing's for sure, I really hope my mom is not watching this video because she would be losing her mind right now. <laughs> this dress I also got from Zara during their sale, but if I'm being honest, I don't like the color on me. I feel, I don't know, it's something about these plum burgundy colors, I feel like it ages me. I want to wear fun, bright colors or I want to wear black. There's no in between with me. Just to do it that I just remember of confidence love cause that don't last forever. I wish I saw what she saw. I wish I knew what she knew. I love how she just don't overgrown. Okay, so here is a blazer that I am going to say goodbye to. I have not worn it and I don't plan on wearing it. It is an express 
blazer it's actually on the dusty side so it probably needs to be dry cleaned it's cute it gives balm on similar to the black one i showed you earlier but i'm more likely to wear the black one i'm not feeling it anymore so i'm gonna get rid of it i know i'm still that girl i don't know how to show like she knew like she knew she knew she knew it's like the last item that I'm going to get rid of is this orange button-up shirt. It's been sitting in my closet and it's just been sitting. So it's time. I know there are ways that I could wear this shirt. I just don't feel like this is my style right now and I really want to embrace my figure. I feel like in the past I've always worn like bigger items and oversized tops and dresses and oversized pants because part of me just wanted to cover up and I'm actually growing past that and I want to embrace my figure embrace the body that I'm in and show it off why not <laughs> over time but right now I feel like we did a really good job what do you think I have a little bit of color I have some pinks and reds and greens and I can honestly feel the difference in my closet. Like it feels like there's space, right? The clothes can actually move around. I do see some more items that I feel like I should get rid of. <laughs> but I'm not gonna do it. I feel like this is a good amount of clothes right now. I'm not going to take anything else out of my closet. So I still have to declutter other parts of my closet. But for today, I think I did a great job with just getting rid of the the unnecessary items, the items that I really haven't worn, the items that I do not feel great in, and they're just really not my style right now. So that is all for today. If you enjoyed this video and you found it helpful, please give me a thumbs up. I'm actually working on growing this channel. I've been growing it for the past three months now, and it's been going really well, you know, a nice consistent pace and that's what I prefer. So show some love if you've enjoyed this video and I will see you in my next one. Peace.